Perth is home to beautiful old buildings, the roundhouse prison, stunning cityscapes, cultural centres and pristine beaches. Western Australia has also become the largest producer of black perigord truffles in the world. I'm heading out with my friend Dion from Stone Barn Truffles to discover what makes the black perigord truffle so special since it's summer in Australia and not harvest season. We're heading to several restaurants where fresh truffles are incorporated into local dishes. Dion. Hey, John. Good to see you again, my it's good, friend. It's been a while. I want to learn more about truffles. You've been in the truffle industry for a long time now. Welcome to Western Australia. You've come to the right spot. We have a little area of gold, black gold. There's a little 30 square kilometre area in the southwest called Manjumup. Yeah. And 93% of Australia's truffles last season were grown in that small area. The first stop with Dion is Clancy's Fish Bar at the quaint and fun eatery nestled alongside the coast. We're meeting with Chef Ashley, who will show us one of his favorite dishes using Perigord truffles. Hey, here he is. Hi, here we Hold on. Thanks, mate. That Beautiful. looks fantastic. So what have we got? So we've got a saffron reduction, prawn pasta, or shrimp, Yeah. you like to say it. <laughs> so we start with the olive oil, and then we put the uh, garlic. So infuse, get, infuse the oil with some of the garlic, and then we add the shrimp. Cook that out a bit, and then we deglaze with some white wine, and then we add our saffron reduction. And then we um, add the pasta, it's really easy. And then we finish off with some butter, get that nice shiny gloss, and then we add some nice basil. Yeah, top. a little bit of basil for aroma. As I look at it, you know, that saffron's had this beautiful yellow colour, and I just love that you're adding the fresh truffle on top. What's exciting, I think, is that I'm here, I'm in Perth for the first time in my life. What we know is a beach bar in the United States, you're always gonna get the same old fried food. I would never expect to see shrimp with a saffron broth and then a chef coming over to the table, slicing fresh truffle on it. Come on. Amazing. Yeah, would you guys like to try some? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yeah, so and the view is pretty good, wouldn't you say? It's, it's absolutely <laughs> stunning, yeah. Tell us a little bit about this restaurant. Booming. Always every day busy. No Look, time to have a break. How many covers? A thousand covers a day. Crazy in the kitchen. It doesn't stop. Yeah. And you're producing food to this quality. Beautiful pro. It's like you had in fine dining on the beach. Yeah. But in a pub, really. Yeah. That's what it's all Fantastic. about. Fantastic. Fantastic. It's a little bit like the Australian lifestyle. It's casual, but with great quality. Absolutely excellent. Ashley, uh, thank you for sharing this dish. Lovely to meet you, mate. You too. Thanks, nice Ashley. to meet you. It's nice to be back in the city. I have to say, though, that was fantastic food. Now, yeah. where are you taking me to next? To a little cooking school run by Sophie Budd. Taste the buds, it's called. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you had the cooking school? I've been here for seven years now, yeah. Now you worked under Jamie Oliver in England, another fellow mm. English chef who was very talented. Yeah, I was a chef de partie, so I ran the pasta gnocchi section for the first year that it was wow. open. And um, I fell in love with Italian food, making pasta and gnocchi especially, and um, I never saw myself as being able to teach someone to cook, yeah. and uh, something that I really enjoyed doing. So when I came here, I started a cooking school. Dion tells me you make a fabulous potato salad and it's rather effortless. It is super easy for people at home, and we've um, today used the truffle aioli. 
I love spuds. Um, I'm actually a potato ambassador. You are a potato I'm ambassador? I'm a potato ambassador. They call it Bud Love Spuds. And these are a kipfler. They're quite large actually for a kipfler. Yeah, these are nice and sweet. You don't have to peel them. You just give them a good wash and boil them and they're ready to go. Fantastic. A truffle aioli is basically an aioli is a mayonnaise that's infused with a flavour, whether it's lemon. This time it's got them beautiful black truffles in there and it smells sublime. Yeah. So you're gonna add some fresh truffle as well. Yeah, why not? My goodness, what a treat. Look at those black speckles. That looks fantastic. I can smell the perfume from it. It's beautiful, yeah. isn't it? It is, isn't it? And it's important that you taste it to check okay. on the seasoning, so. Wow. Mm. You like it? Oh God, it's healthy. My tongue's coated like velvet and my mouth is filled with this beautiful perfume of truffle and it's so simple. Well uh -huh. done. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's delightful. Dion, thank you so much. It was an amazing, amazing day. I learned so much about truffle. I can't wait to get back on board and make a dish with Alfred in Prego. Sounds fantastic. For a good Italian dish, you need some good truffle. You've I've given me truffle. I brought you a little gift. Enjoy. Alfred is going to be over the moon. <laughs> he never you. ceases to amaze me. Look at me. I'm smiling like a Labrador with a truffle. As you should. Thanks, Dion. Take care, brother. Cheers, John. Woohoo! Hey! Now that we're back on board Crystal Serenity, it's time to head up to Prego and surprise Alfred with these fresh truffles. Prego, you can savour authentic Italian and Mediterranean at this specialty venue, showcasing modern and classic takes on favourites including Insulata Caprice, blissful and tender Osabuco shares flavours of Milan, a variety of fresh pastas made daily, silken pillows of ravioli filled with seasonal local ingredients, creamy risotto made to order. Prego's vividly designed space is rich with artfully covered walls, vibrantly upholstered furnishings and warm, dramatic lighting, Prego is simply delizioso. Alfred! John, how are you? We had an amazing day. It was Good phenomenal. Dion surprised us. We got out the car and he says, take no. this back for my buddy, Alfred. Look at this, wow. buddy. Two troubles. Look at the size of that. Unbelievable <laughs> smell, huh? The perfume. He delivered. I told you, he's a great guy. Look at that. Smell that perfume. What a smell. Beautiful, huh? Like a goat. Let me think. I've been thinking about a dish all the way. Let me see if I can transfer it over to you. Old style. Old style. Say it together. Potato Nucky. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's get cooking, partner. Add a layer of salt to an oven tray. Cut a garlic in half. Now add some rosemary, lay the potatoes on one inch apart and roast them until the fork tender. Cut them apart and let them steam for several minutes. What was the keys do you find to make a gnocchi? Where's the, where's the person at home go wrong? If you, use, if you choose the wrong potatoes, they're getting just too moist yeah. and the texture is just not right. Gnocchi is a very simple but still a very delicate dish. Whenever we put this one on the menu, it's going to be a seller, I'm telling you. Especially with the truffle fresh Absolutely. One. Fantastic. Now it's coming. Now it's coming. Using a food mill or a potato ricer, try to evenly spread them out. Top this with some egg yolk. The egg yolk is going to make the gnocchi rich. It's also going to help bind it. Add a small amount of flour and gently cut it together using a bench scraper. Try not to overwork the dough. At what age did you start making gnocchi? Well, fairly young, you know. 
Uh, yeah. My parents used to take me to Italy for Saturday or Sunday lunches. And uh, there wasn't only spaghetti, there was a lot of potato gnocchis too. Yeah. So over the years, I guess my potato gnocchis evolved. Because I mean, as you grow older, you grow an experience, you, you see new products, yeah. you uh, encounter different type of potatoes. I think it's therapeutic, you know. I love making no. He just like make like making bread, you know, just gently rolling it. You need practice, my friend. I do need practice, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> but when you cut gnocchi, yeah, you know, you cut push, them outwards. Push. You cut them outwards, and you actually push them away from. It. Now that's interesting. So you know, they lie loose. Yeah. They're coated with flour, and when you pick them up later, they're not sticking together. Did you know that? Do you know, I didn't know that, mate. I have to be honest with you, I'm impressed with that. It's my crystal pleasure. You want to cook your gnocchi in some boiling salted water until they float to the top. And add them to a pan with some water and a small amount of butter and let them cook for several minutes. Place them in a bowl. Top this with a little bit of Reggiana Parmesan and some of that beautiful black Perigord truffle. Feel free at home to use some white Alba truffle as well. I think in its simplest form, it's one of the most beautiful dishes. Potatoes, egg yolks, truffle. But isn't simple always good? It is. Here's to you, partner. Cheers, Cheers. to you. You know, John, I think we did everything right on this dish. We just stuck to the Italian uh, philosophy. Keep mm. it simple yeah. and great things will come out of it. It is actually great to have a fellow colleague and a professional at the table yeah. and talk about a dish we just created together mm. and get an honest opinion. I think the guests are going to love this. I think so too. I really we do. we got a winner here. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. as the sommelier pours the red and the white wine and guests say cheers to a beautiful day in Perth. This evening special is served. Fresh gnocchi with truffles and parmesan. One of the best parts of being a chef is being able to make meals that make memories because it's memories that last a lifetime.